It's the British Odd Pod. That welcome, didn't sound like British Welcome to the uh, Harry Potter special edition of the Odd Pod. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? We're, uh, if, you, if, you, if you know what that theme is, you know what's up. Uh, this is Vino. This is Chris. Yeah, and uh, here, here's why we're doing this episode. This is all Harry Potter episodes. If you, if you don't like Harry Potter, go ahead and turn this off right now. Uh, or listen, because I didn't used to like Harry Potter for like 31 years, man. And <laughs> now I'm into it. Yeah, yeah. And, and now that I'm like on book, I'm on the Order of the Phoenix 5, uh, it's starting to get like where you're starting to see corruption in the uh, Ministry of Magic. Yeah which yeah. is the government yeah. of magic, and you're yeah. seeing that this dude's getting paid off with gold yeah. to work with the the evil yeah. people. Yeah. And it's just like, whoa, like and, it got real. Yeah. Here's my thing. I, we're both the same age, Chris and I. We're 31, and uh, Killing I- Killing time since 89, baby. <laughs> there you go. And I've been a Harry Potter fan since the books first came out, like back in 01, something like that. Chris just now got into it. So uh, it's been really cool to find out that one of my homies is into Harry Potter without me having to get him into it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Romo, we have Lord of the Rings, but I kind of had to get him into that. Chris came up to me just randomly last week and busted out with, yo, bro, I think I'm going to start reading Harry Potter. And I was like, whoa, all right, man. And then you, li- you gave me the idea that uh, the audio book. Yeah. So I was like, all right. And because of that, it's been in- incredible. Yeah, I want to do like the Joker thing on your picture. Like it's been incredible. Like he has his hands in his hair. Yeah, and it's like it's, it's Miss. I don't know what her name is. I say I put it like in the in the description or something. But it's this lady on YouTube who's who's British, and she's reading all the books, right? Except for the first one, I think. The first one was like I I, I listened to a couple different females read it, but the second, third, fourth, fifth, they've all been uh, the same British lady reading it on YouTube, and. Uh, she also has a cat that sometimes he'll meow and like, but it, it, he's like a British cat because it's her cat <laughs> and he's like, meow, <laughs> but, uh, but it doesn't like, she's really good at the storytelling. She doesn't fuck up that much. And then she's got it to where like, I guess if the cat meows or something like <clears throat> she'll cut it off, but it doesn't sound choppy and then yeah. she'll continue. Yeah. It's really dope. You can probably look it up on, on, on your phone. The, yeah. Woo, woo. Tell so so let's get into the Harry Potters. We're gonna right. start. We're and gonna... I just watched the first movie. Oh yeah, so there you go. So Chris is 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 into is balls deep in the book number five, and he's just seen the first movie. So let's talk about. All right. So basically, and I'm a Gryffindor. Oh yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> so Chris's house. He he's a Gryffindor. I have always said I'm Slytherin. Damn right. Uh, you think if you took that official test on the website that you get Slytherin? Hell yes, yeah, son. Yeah. So who's your favorite character in the book? Oh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, for sure. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it can't go wrong with Harry. You know what I'm saying? What about you? Uh, Well, see, I can't really talk about that till you read the rest of the books. About your favorite character? Yeah, because because I have to, I have to talk about why. You know, I'll, I'll get into the beginning story and all the way to the end, but I don't want to spoil anything for you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah, so, okay. What else, what else? So, as, out, of, out of one through five so far, do you, do you have a favorite one and why? So... All right, so let, let me go through it. The first one was the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, which, they're behind you in case you need to read the name of the title. Which, which, when they first came out, and I love, like, the original uh, covers, like the British ones. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Old school and shit, so, like, the dragons, like, you know, yeah. like fantasy. Those are the American, those are the OG or American covers yeah. right there. Yeah. And then the Sorcerer's Stone used to be called the Philosopher's Stone. Yes, it did. In, 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 Brit- in Britain, it is. It's called that. What? Why? Do you know why? Uh, I really don't. I really don't. But uh, but the international movie, it's Sorcerer. It's yeah, yeah, Sorcerer. yeah, for sure. It just sounds cooler, I guess. I bet those fools in Britain were like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then I bet you if you had, like, the original book with the original cover, it's fine. I bet it's, like, worth some money. Man. But this is cool, too. It shows uh, Fluffy. Yeah. And the unicorn. I, I felt like you if see, I wouldn't you know. You see Hogwarts in the background? Hogwarts. We're looking at the American edition of the first book. So, you know, it's like uh, Harry Potter. He's looking on worried, flying on a broom. You know, it's a Harry Man, Potter. Quidditch. Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, it's playing Quidditch. Trying to catch a snitch. Yes, there you go. There you go. Uh, so, what, so the, my first, I thought, yo, it's like a child caught it. Because they treat this fool like shit, right? Yeah. They treat Harry like shit, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. And, uh. He's all malnourished, probably, and shit. But he survives, and he has his little... I mean, I love it. So. Yo, didn't the Dudley in the movie do a great job? They didn't perfect. do... Because, yeah, you perfect job. But you, all three of those, the parent, the, 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 the... Well, the, the mom was supposed to be chubby, too, wasn't she? The Dursley, you think so? Yeah, I think they said that in the first book. Or the second, because somebody... 
Because the dad, because the uncle caught somebody fat, yeah. chubbing, and yeah. then Harry was thinking like, odd for him to call some another woman that when when Opportunia is pretty. Yeah. Yeah. And he's fat too, Uncle Vernon. Huge. Yeah. All right. Anyway, keep going. Um, so the first book, I like it a lot. Um, and then the the movie went good with it. I'm excited about seeing the other movies as well. Now, okay, the Chamber of Secrets. This is yeah. Okay. Okay. Chamber of Secrets. The Diary. Tom Riddle, right? This is that Tom book? Tom Riddle. Yeah. Yeah. That, I got kind of confused, but that was cool. Jenny got involved because Jenny was writing in it too, right? And that's how yeah. you find out everything yeah. about the podcast. Yeah, Someone handed her the... The same way that, that the guy who sold uh, uh, Hagrid that egg, remember? And it was because they wanted... Who was that? Voldemort or was uh, that one pro- uh, Or just another person that... You know what? I think it was Voldemort with the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say yes. And then uh, in the second book, you know, she said that someone just gave her that diary. She, you know, someone remember someone that switched it or whatever. But do you remember? He who? had it. He had it first. Yeah. No, didn't she? Oh, he he took he could he consumed her somehow, and she took the diary, and then he had even more control over her or something like that. Yeah, I, I guess well, in the movie we'll find out how she got it because yeah, it's been, yeah. It's been years already. So it it was good. It was a good uh, uh, sequel to the first one. But I thought the third one was my favorite out of the first three. And the third one is the Prisoner of Azkaban. Because, uh, okay, he learns about his godfather. Sirius Black. Black, yeah. right? Yeah. And then he also, I think this is the one where he, uh, there's uh, time travel. Right? Yeah, at the end. They, yeah. In the beginning, yeah. they, they're trying to figure out how Hermione has three classes at the same time yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying Sorry, it was because homeboy had given her that the uh, time thing i'm yeah. thinking that like, she cloned herself or something like, oh we're gonna figure out she did a little spell that she's going to three different places but now she had a little time thing and so they ended up having to use that to save the wizarding world or the whole world because Voldemort's was trying to take over he killed muggles and shit too yeah i mean if it um, wasn't for that loo- little loophole that time thing that they wouldn't know they wouldn't be able to make it and the map of marauders Marauders right. map. The Marauders map. That, that Fred and George came up with. Yeah. Well, no, they didn't come up with it. It says it. The it. it, it, it some. Nah, they didn't come up with it. It was. It was the two mysterious guys. Right, but the dad, Harry's dad, they he ends up finding out later. I think that his dad used it. Yeah. His his dad and and Sirius yeah. and uh, yeah, and their other friends. Lupin. Lupin, right? Yeah. The and wolf. It was so. This was this the one where they were gonna kill. The rat at, in the house. They were gonna kill the rat. And they were like, so no. this is my favorite one so yeah. far. There's so much shit happened. Yeah. So, the, so Ron ends up finding out that his uh, what, what's that animal that you call? The it? little rat, uh, worm tail? No, yeah, but uh, cause he escapes from Azkaban or yeah. something, or sometimes they let him free. But uh, no, what do you call your animal? Like, like his owl? Like it's a name for? It. Oh, Patronus. Nah. That thing is it your Patronus? The one where it's with the one. Nah, that, that's that's what you when you when you find the Dementors, right? And and you use something and the Patronus comes out. Yeah. That's one animal. Okay, what are you talking but about? What animal are you talking about? Here? When you first go to Hogwarts, you have to take a frog, a rat. Oh, like a pet, I guess. Yeah. Call it a pet. Fuck it. Call it a pet. Okay. Yeah. There's another name for. It. I forgot later. We will. We'll watch. We'll watch the movies and we'll come back to this shit. Yeah. Lupin. Yeah, and I like how uh, Harry was like, "Nah, my dad wouldn't want y'all to kill him." Shot out. You know, yeah, yeah, basically, you know, because 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 then you're just as bad as Voldemort who killed him, right? Exactly, exactly. Onto that dark side. You, you don't pay back evil with evil. That doesn't fix anything. That just right. causes more evil. That's not what defeated Voldemort in the first place. Exactly. It was, it was yeah, love. It was love. Exactly. It was love. The sacrifice. He finds out. I guess it was in the first one. He finds out that his mom sacrificed. Um, Hit, but I like how he keeps finding out more about his parents and shit. Yeah. Um, is this the pensive or is, it, is this four or is that four or he looks in the in what in the remember the way he looks in the in the pensive oh the, that's four all right so that was three three four so the four. goblet of fire all right yeah. the goblet of fire was really dope oh, too i went on this book too i mean yeah. look at it, it's the longest one yeah. so far wow yeah um yeah i really like this one i gotta take this out of my mouth it did its purpose. I'm moisturized now. Leave me alone. It was a mint. Yeah, yeah. Um, so somebody puts him in the Goblet of Fire. He's one. He's too young. It's like a competition. It's the first year with no Quidditch. Right? In Quidditch, he's badass in Quidditch. He finds out his dad's a seeker in Quidditch. So it's in his blood. And um, 
he was kind of looking forward to it. Every summer, he gets all depressed and shit because he has to go back with his aunt and uncle, treat him, treat him like a child called it. Yeah. I keep saying, I, don't, I never read a child called it, so maybe it's not as bad as that. It's probably not. I know, right? Because <laughs> I, I, I heard it's really bad. But, um, uh, so even though he's too young, so that year they said, no quidditch, we're going to have the Goblet of Fire. And then you find out that there's other schools, right? Which I don't think they ever mentioned before. There's other wizarding schools that are in secret locations that nobody knows where they're at. Not even uh, Dumbledore. But Dumbledore decided to let them come in. <laughs> also, in the beginning, he went to the uh, Quidditch World Cup, right? With the Weasleys. Yeah, that's what the Death Eaters first the made Death their Eaters appearance. Death first sign. Yeah. The sign, and then there was all that weirdness about the, the elf, or the house of the servant. The house elves, the yeah. House elves. Dobby, no, you just Dobby. Yeah, it was another one. But Dobby, because of Do Dobby, that he, uh, well, what's crazy is, so there was that teacher, Woody, Woodard, what was his name? The Wood guy? Oh, Mad-Eye Moody. Moody. Yeah. Right? He's part Wood or something, right? Is he like that in the movie? Well, he's got a, yeah, he's got a, you'll see, he's all fucked up. He's like a war, like a war. one brother. of his eyes is like, yeah, he, moves it's it, magical. It's mechanical. Yeah, yeah. he moves everywhere. Yeah, he was regular. He's got a bad leg. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he was friends with Harry Potter's dad. So you read the end of it, right? Yeah, did yeah. you remember, did you get to the end? Like, oh, what the fuck! Remember? No. It turns out he was kidnapped the whole time. Remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. it's like Harry never met him. Had, met Moody, all that shit that happened to Harry and Moody, did, right. it, it kind of pissed him doesn't off. Doesn't count anymore. Yeah, but he still learned shit from the fake Moody, and, okay. and he ended up getting to the end. They wanted him to get to the end, and it's crazy how I bet Harry feels guilty because right. Okay, so right now I'm on the fifth one, the one right after this. It's uh, the, the Order of the Phoenix. He just got back to school. Um, he just went to court because he had to use magic out of school to save him and his cousin. And he was almost going to get kicked out of school because of a uh, Fudge, who is a crooked, basically, wizard politician, right? Who's working with, with Draco, with uh, Draco's dad, Malfoy. Lucius Malfoy. Who he saw that Lucius was at the, uh, in, at the Goblet of Fire. Okay, so whenever it, he got to the end after the third obstacle first it was the dragon and somebody told him so he had a chance to like prepare then it was the water thing and so he had it then they somebody gave him the thing and uh it's all, all this happens in the movie right because i just know i'm just going from the book and in the third and then the third challenge is the maze but he gets to the end and uh the other dude from hogwarts was gonna win and he's like, nah, you, Cedric. Cedric, Cedric right? Diggory. R.I.P. <laughs> who went to the ball with, uh, with Cho, Cho right? Chang. Cho Chang, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have been feeling like Harry sometimes, bro. When it comes to his romance life and his skills. Like, he doesn't really know how to put it together yet. But, um, so he's like, nah, fuck it. Let's do it together. It's still a Hogwarts win. We helped each other, right? He's like, all right, let's do it. So they both grabbed the key, the trophy, which ended up having put a spell on it, became a key to another portal, or to a, a key portal or whatever. And then went to the cemetery to where, the cemetery where Voldemort Eater, was. Yeah, the Death of Voldemort were waiting. Yes. And then he caught, like, he was using a... So it was in this one, right, where the fake... Uh, what's that guy's name? Mad-Eye Moody. Moody did that little shit to the spider, right? Yeah. Where it was like the two uh, most dangerous spells. He killed one, it. Yeah, well one is like ultimate pain where he uh, Voldemort did it to Harry. He just like, everything was on fire. All his cells, all his, like he was just like. But he killed Cedric. He wanted to die, right? Like that's how, that's how the pain is whenever they do that spell on you. And then he'll like let him, and then there's another spell where you just kill him, but he didn't want to just kill him instantly because he wanted to show his followers that Harry is not all this magical being that a lot of people think he is, right? He, so he said, I'll let you free and we will duel. And the duel was fucking dope. That's why I think so far it's Gobbler Fire. It just get, it gets uh, progressively better, right? And I can only imagine what's going to happen in the Order of the Phoenix. Because I'm only on chapter 11. People start dying in Order of the Phoenix, bro. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure because he because his, <sighs> the mom kind of predicted that. And it's fucked up about uh, uh, the Weasley brother, the big one, who's like kind of, not the oldest, he's like the third oldest. You mean Charlie? The, one, the, the dragon one? The one studying dragons? Nah, not Charlie. The one who the works... The head, the house. Percy! Percy! There you go. Percy's a shady motherfucker right now. 
right? Because or, he, he worked for the fake one. Yeah, or is he? Yeah, yeah you'll see. Okay. You'll see. You know, but right now, he, like when they went to court, he didn't talk to Harry. He didn't talk to his dad. He kind of like... Um, but that's, that's the vibe he's getting off right now. That Percy's been brainwashed. That Percy's been, yeah, brainwashed. Yeah, by corporate wizard world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. And, and uh, so, so far, my favorite is Goblet of Fire. Because so much happened. He finds mm. out he has, like, the God. So, get to the end of it. What happens? So, that they duel. What happens? Come on. So, the duel... <sighs> it was so intense. Like, I imagined it all in my head. Because it, it's, it's harder for me to repeat it, but... It, it ended up being like uh, the energy, right? It's energy. And so they were like, at one point, they were connected there. And okay, so people don't know. I guess wands are made different ways. And and, with, and Harry's wand was made with the phoenix feather, as was Voldemort's. Voldemort's. And they're from the same phoenix, which was, which is uh, Dumbledore's. Dumbledore's phoenix, yeah. which saves Harry a couple times. Shout out the fox. That was the name of it? Yeah, Blue Fox. Fox. And, uh... F-A-W-K-E-S. Okay. And, uh... Sometimes it looks ugly, right? Because after... It yeah, yeah, it up, explodes. Up, <laughs> but then sometimes it looks like real beautiful and shit. And, uh... So, those, so somehow they connected, right? And he could see that he had some control over the energy that uh, him and Voldemort were connected to. And it was like these pulsating energy balls that were kind of... Like, he started being able to, like focusing them towards him he saw that he was getting like nervous and shit Voldemort was getting like scared and shit and everybody was like should we do something should we do something yeah, he's like stay is. there don't do shit and then uh yeah and then, he, <laughs> and then the craziest thing happened that uh he the people who Voldemort killed yeah. the souls that yeah. he took with yeah. that wand yeah. came out and yeah. were encouraging Harry to keep holding on yeah that it's almost over he's got it it was his mom his dad cedric was there cedric he said hey don't do me a favor can you take my body to my parents and he yeah. was like yeah i got you and uh yeah and and i was like damn and they were like talking shit to voldemort and shit and like i guess their golden spirit type deal that's how i imagined it and eventually uh oh his dad told him all right you're gonna have to run like we, you're gonna have, like when I tell you to stop, we're gonna block him for a little bit so you can run to the key. <laughs> and he's like, all right. He's like, and you know they talked a little bit, but they said go. And so he went, and uh, they were blocking Voldemort, and then all he could like, like all the the Death Eaters were like shooting at him and shit. So he's like dodging, you know, this energy, Neo, this like Neo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And uh, and he, and he got the body and. And I think he was injured too, like his leg was broken or yeah, something. Yeah, he was fucked up. He was yeah. real fucked yeah, up. Remember that torture wasn't no joke. Yeah, he was being tortured. And uh and and, and then uh he got he got he finally made it. Well no, like like he he couldn't move anymore, right? And, and he Voldemort was like, ha, he was smiling and shit, but then he did some kind of magic spell so Harry uh levitated to him. And boom, they were back. And then uh Fudge, even, ever since Goblet of Fire, Fudge has been shady. He doesn't want to believe it and shit, right? He always thinks that they're lying for some reason. And now he's just showing more of his true colors. It's it's just getting better and better. So this is, so now I'm on the fifth. How many more do I have? Well, the pen on eight. And then there's the one afterwards that goes all the way in, you know, Harry and his child. Is it, which one's that one? Uh holy crap. So you don't have that one? No, but dang, what's the name of it? Holy crap. So I'm on the Order of the Phoenix. And then uh after that Tell so tell us about the Order of the Phoenix so far. <sighs> so in the Order of the Phoenix, Harry's like really frustrated in the summertime as he usually is, but nobody's telling him he would have rather like not got anything from any of his friends or anybody because they weren't really telling him shit. But what was happening was they were the gathering of the Order of the Phoenix, which is um, his parents used to be in. And it was basically just this organization of, of good wizards and witches that used to fight evil, like uh, Voldemort. And, uh, and so eventually they, they went and picked them up. And because they tricked, they tricked the, they tricked the Dudleys and they went and picked them up and it was like a, a squadron. Of all these teachers and wizards and shit, and that was like his guard. 
By the way, the the book after the whole series, the the eighth book, you know, when he has a kid, yeah. it's called Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why I, didn't, I had a brain fart there for a second. Me, you read it? Yes, I did. It was very good. The way it was written, bro, this, this is how gangster J.K. Uh, Rowling is. So anyhow, you know, she 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 tells the 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 publishing the publishing company, I'm gonna write y'all a new book, and they go, oh. Of course, yeah, we'll take it. You're gonna write us a new Harry Potter book? We'll take it. But it's not like the other Harry Potter books. She wrote it in the form of like, uh, it's hard to explain, bro, like like a play, basically. Word. You know, like, so she would, so instead of having to, you know, do all that, she would write, uh, uh, so it's like, right now, the way we're talking, Chris, da 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 da, what he says. Vino, da da da, what he says. That's character. That, that's how she wrote it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When you read it, you'll see what I mean. But it's really easy to follow, really easy to get into, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like it's like I said, it's like you're watching a play on stage. You can picture this, and is they it, did, uh, and they did do it as a play over there in Britain. It sounds heavy. Is it heavy? What do you mean? Like, uh, I mean, it's his kids. Oh yeah, they're, they, of course they're gonna get emotional. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll save you this spoiler alert. Nobody dies. Nobody dies. Okay, that's good. So yeah, it was good. It's lessons. It's heartfelt. It's nostalgia. You know, trust me. Ron and Hermione. Yeah, everybody, there. everybody, uh, who, everybody who lives after okay. the seventh book pretty much is still here. Some some older people have died some, and passed on. So the on. seventh book, right? Cause some people are they're older. The seventh book is some shit goes down, right? Which is. Hey, you know what's funny? What's up? Look, get that book out, the one that's hidden. I have a yeah. copy of that that's one. Man. And you said that was your favorite one, right? Yeah. Well, wait, that's the one. That's the only copy, right? Yeah, take the paper back. You, oh, you can have it. Appreciate it. That, 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 that'll be, that, that way you can start your collection like yeah, that. It'll yeah. inspire you to get the rest. Sure. All right, so number five, keep going. So, uh... As to, up to where yeah, you're was, at. Was, yeah, uh, Phoenix, uh... So he just found out about the Order of the Phoenix, and, uh... Uh... He's got a little pop of Voldemort. Did he used to have glasses? Yeah, they, it That's came like that. That's why I got it for cheap. Oh, oh he, he's, he's looking at the, my Funko Dumbledore that I have. It, it's got no glasses, but it's because uh, I bought it for like four bucks. I got a discount because the, the glasses popped off. The half moon glasses that he wore in the movie, I, that's exactly how I pictured them, the way she described them in the book. It's yeah. No, yeah, that's why I told you the movie is good to see after you read the books because, like, yeah, obviously the books, in my opinion, are way better because, you know, your imagination can, can make a better film. But to, to see some of the characters in person is really cool. Okay, so the CGI in the in the first movie is kind of bad. It's all one, two thousand one. Does it's it two... get better as the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, every every year it came out, the 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 CGI was top of the line. But we're looking at CG, you know, to us we're looking at it in the past. Yeah. You know? I think about it when the PS two and PS one came out, that was the uh, the top of the notch graphics, right? And now you look back and like, damn, that shit looks blurry. That looks shitty, right? Right. So yeah, so so you're on book five. In, in, okay, yeah, yeah. So. uh they did, okay, he just found out he was he was uh, kind of upset that Ron and Hermione are prefects. He thought he was gonna be a prefect, which helps the the lower class kids. Yeah. Have you found out why he didn't make prefect yet? Uh, no. Wait till wait wait till you do. Wait till you do. They just it, so far they speculate yeah. that he's made too much trouble. Um, I think it's because he would have too much on his plate already because he's like. Like a Luke Skywalker, like he's gonna save the universe. Watch, so they don't need see. him doing that shit. There was a specific reason he didn't. Which I'm, sure, I'm sure there was. Yeah, it was and good. um, oh, it was also cool to find out. I think it was in Prisoner of Az Azkaban, uh, about Neville's parents, how they were tortured, yeah, by one of uh, Slytherin's people. I think it was by Wormtail. Yeah. Yeah, and and so like he said, but he, Neville even never talks about it. That's why he lives he's with, he's with his grandma. His grandma's the only one. And he goes to visit his parents. They're insane. That he didn't kill them. They tortured them to the point of insanity. Mm -hmm. That's what and, and, and then you almost think, like, well, what's worse? I mean, they're both pretty bad. What's worse? Losing your parents to death at an early age? Yeah, so him and Harry have a very similar... They have a lot in common. Yeah. And I think they're going to start spending more time together because where I'm at... Because Ron and Hermione are always busy. Or maybe he's going to start hanging out with Jenny more, maybe a little bit, too. Because I know, I, I remember a long time ago, I asked my sister, I was like, does Ron and Hermione, they end up together? She's like, nah, uh, Ron. No, I thought Harry and Hermione were going to end up together. And she said, no, it's Ron and Hermione. Damn, she's spoiler alert. But I'm, I, I got past the point where they argue, I think it was in this one, too, for the dance. 
Where they argue together. Oh, yeah, because she went with Victor Crumb. She's like, well, next time, just ask me to the dance. That's how we... And he was just like, whatever. And then Harry was like, Yo, but he didn't say anything. And, uh, and I know that Janie's been liking him for a minute. Um, who's that right here? On the, on the, Jenny. That's Jenny, right? Yeah, that's Jenny, redhead. Little girl. Remember he had to rescue her? Oh, yeah, because of the... That's, that's the hippogriff. Remember they saved it at the end? Yeah. Yeah, because at one point he got his head chopped yeah, off. Yeah, the whole time thing. He was able yeah. to you know. And, and you find out that... Uh, I guess you find out in the first one that Hagrid is... Uh, it's Hagrid, right? The big yeah, giant? Yeah, yeah. That he's... He, well, you find out in the books that he loves, like, monsters and is taking care of stuff. And you find out that his mom was a giantess and that his dad died whenever he... It was, like, before he got expelled from Hogwarts. Right now, they don't know where he is. They think he's on a mission still from this book, from the Prisoner of Azkaban. During the beginning of Order of Phoenix, they don't know where they're so they're sad right now. Hagrid is missing. Hagrid, they okay. don't know where he is, but they're assuming that he's on the on the mission still. That he went out, I think, with that giantess, that half giantess or whatever. Yeah, Dumbledore sent him on a mission, bro. Yeah, and, Dumbledore uh, thinking ahead. Trust me. Yeah, and Dumbledore was the lawyer for Harry, but he didn't even like you know Harry was kind of sour because he didn't look at him or anything, but but he was also very appreciative. Yeah, and then at the end, wait, oh yeah. And the, and at the end, yeah, you see, everything, skin, yeah. everything comes, yeah, yeah, everything, that, even that, the why, would, why wouldn't Dumbledore look at me, you know what I'm saying, like, even that all of that is explained, everything in the book is explained, it's really good, it's really good. That's cool. I feel like after I go through all of them once, I'm gonna have to do it again, because I miss certain things, I forget about certain little details, just like any series. When yeah, you, of course. Um, okay, so then, after the Phoenix, it's the Half-Blood Prince. Yes, sir. And oh, that's the sign. Yeah. That they showed on the on the prisoner rescue. Yep. No, no, on the goblet, on the oh, fire. When they ruined, yeah, when they spoiled the the World Cup or whatever. Yeah. Bro, those Dementors are tripping. Dementors, Snape, uh, so Death Eaters. Okay, so the Half Blood Prince. And this is the seventh one, and it was the last one for a minute, right? Yep. The Deathly Hollow. Hallows. Hallows. Yeah, and you'll find out what that means. Damn, the picture. That's obviously uh, Voldemort, right? Yeah. Damn, it looks epic, bro. So is this one still the longest? No, I mean, that's only, it looks like that because it's paperback. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think the longest one might be the last one. Like they just get longer and longer. Yeah, know? basically, basically, it's like the book. As you grew up, the group, the the books would oh, grow with Jesus. you. They would get longer and more intricate. The plots, would, like you said, look. Now there's corruption in the government. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and when on the YouTube videos, when you watch them, ones the the audio books that I've been watching. It's not really an audio book. It's just somebody reading it. But uh, she put the age recommendation too, and, and they get higher. Right. So yeah, because there's certain there's certain themes that in book four and book five that you probably wouldn't want someone who read book one to get into quite yet. Right, unless they're by that age already. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> this crazy because on this book seven, uh, there's a chapter that says nineteen years later. Those are always cool. Yeah. Those are always cool. One of the things about Harry Potter for me that it'll always stick with me because it, it's because of what uh. Uh, Dumbledore, the character, you know, he he he's uh, he's sort of become a big inspiration to me. You know what I'm saying? Like like the stuff he said, you know, like like just what he represents. Uh, it's always something that 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 tells me in times of trouble or times of confusion. You know what I'm saying? Like like when I feel like I don't know what I'm supposed to do, I kind of ask myself, well, what would Dumbledore do? What would Dumbledore do in the situation? Right? You know what I'm saying? Like it's helped me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Dumbledore has become almost like a totem for me. You know what I'm like he like. He's uh the 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 whatever you want to call him Carl Jung you know what I'm saying whatever you want whatever he is he had a uh, a thing about archetypes archetypes are basically what we use to sort of describe almost all of life like for example when you think of Harry Potter you think oh a hero someone with a pure heart good you know what I'm saying light you know what I'm saying think of Voldemort you think the opposite you know what I'm saying that those are the archetypes you think about good and evil when I th you know so. I guess I guess the, the archetype that Dumbledore has always been for me is like the archetype of, of, of wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Wisdom and, 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 and mentorship, you know what I'm saying? Because 
he he has to be a mentor to kids. You know what I'm saying? To kids, not not just to the adults and the other teachers there and whoever else in the government they have to work with. But he also but his main thing is he has to work with these kids. He has to, you know, hopefully help them achieve great wizarddom. You know what I'm saying? Like he has he has a lot on his plate, and then he has to deal with Harry and that whole mission he's been doing since Harry, you know, since his parents died. You know what I'm saying? Like, like to me, Dumbledore has always always represented someone that can handle any situation in all situations. You know what I'm saying? And, in a calm man. In a calm and wise way. You know right. what I'm saying? He's yeah. Like, he's yeah. Get the best of yeah. Him. And even though, like, like they said in the movie, you heard like the only reason why Voldemort would never come here is because the one, the the, the, the one he's wizard, fierce. the one wizard that 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 Voldemort fears is Dumbledore. And so Dumbledore is probably like the most powerful wizard around, but he doesn't even act like it. You know, he's mm. humble as fuck. You mm. know, humility. That's another thing that Dumbledore has taught me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because you can go around doing something doesn't mean you have to go around talking about it or even or even like you know you know like look at me, I'm 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 the baddest wizard around. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you know, hu humility. Is is a uh, is a uh, is is pe people like that? You know what I'm saying? People respect humility more than they respect someone that's like, look at me. You know? Right. It's always trying yeah. to show it off. I remember uh, there was a line where Harry Potter was talking about how I don't know who Dumbledore was attacking, but he was attacking somebody, or he he just looked angry. And he's like, then at that moment he realized why so many people fear him. Yeah, because you know he would always see the twinkle, in his, like he, you know, he would see like a usually happy because he's you know to Harry. Uh, sometimes he would get serious or whatever, and uh, it's pretty interesting, man. Because uh, I don't know if I should talk. About, I'm not gonna talk about personal shit about my job, but uh, that that because I feel like I have a positive uh, effect on a lot of young, young wizards. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Which, yeah. It's interesting. Uh, the seventh book. Was uh, published the year we graduated, 2007. Yeah, bro. So, you, so did you read it that Hell year? Hell yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. I remember I was 18 and I, you know, I was like, I don't care. You know, I'm 18 and I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm I still want to read it. And I remember my mom bought it for me too, but like for so like for a graduation gift that year. Has this been made into a movie? Yeah, they've all been made into movies. That one's two movies. They split into two. Except for the eighth one, hasn't been made into. A movie. Nah, it's a play. You you, you can probably find that play. Uh -huh. Like they recorded it and everything. It was a big thing, you know, obviously, because because the whole world is just hungry for Harry Potter stuff. You know? Anything. People, like yeah, yeah. After you read the books and you're like, damn, there's nothing else for me to read. Really, you're like, damn, you you you're like a fiend. You're like, anything Harry Does Potter. The eighth one help. Uh, yes, it did. It, it was did. good. It was good. Cause, then, cause, okay, go ahead. Because a lot of the stuff from the old book, they tied it into the last book. Like, a lot of the stuff that happened, they talk about it and, you know, they even expand on it in that eighth book. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, they even tie more. Yeah, like, yeah. For, so, more not. It's what sandwich. you wanted. As a fan who's been waiting, who's hungry for Harry Potter stuff, when you read that book, you know what? It was everything you wanted. It just, like, like always, I just wish it was longer. You know what I'm saying? But... But you know what? I I prefer a book that the at least you wanted more. Yeah, than a book that you're like, man, I I, I, I felt like I had to skip a few pages. I was getting yeah. I was getting bored. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah, Harry Potter. There's no boredom, and I'm 30 years fucking old, bro. Yeah. It's, it's good. And then and then after that, she wrote Fantastic Beasts. Or was that some before that? Uh, well, I'm not sure exactly when she wrote which ones, but I know yeah, they came out after the Harry Potter series. But they're based on the time before. They're they're based they're based on like the thirties nineteen thirties around that time so there's there's the young Dumbledore in that uh, in here ha have you met Voldemort's snake no okay well Voldemort has a snake and in that series Voldemort's snake is still a human being mm. which by the way you're like wait I didn't even know that it was a human being to begin with and you find out that there's a curse on this on this person that eventually they are gonna become a, a giant snake and uh, the person who who Johnny Depp played who did he play Oh, he played the bad guy. He he played the Voldemort from back in the day, Grindelwald. But he was. Like, you will hear about Grindelwald in I think six and seven. Is he the one who inspired Voldemort? In a way, he was he was pre -Vol he was Voldemort before. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, imagine we had an evil dictator now. Uh, there's he, you had you had Hitler first, right? The, the all time dictator, blah blah. That's Grindelwald. Okay. It's funny he has a German name, sound of name, right? So, so did they show the creation of Hogwarts with the four houses in Fantastic Beasts, or are they already they're already created at the time? Yeah, I think Hogwarts always existed. Cause Gryffindor is like a long time, like the yeah. actual person. Yeah, like the like when you meet Dumbledore in that book, he's not he's not he's not really quite there yet. He's still very young. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And what uh, house is he? Do they say what house he's in? No. You know what? I don't think I've ever asked. I don't think I've ever. Uh, Thought about I don't think I ever thought about that question. How many books are those out there? Of what? Fantastic of, Beasts? There's 
two, and there's one coming out next year. And a third movie coming out next year, right? Yeah, I haven't seen the movies. You know me, how I feel about the movies. I might watch them after I read all the books. You know I feel saying? like, especially like in the first one, I feel like they missed that. And I already told you, but there's a badass joke in the first book where at one point they're like, they tell Neville that he needs to start standing up for himself, right? And then later on, when Ron, Hermione, and Harry are trying to go do some serious shit to fucking save everybody, uh, what's his name? Neville stops him because he's like, nah, you already lost like 150 fucking points for a house. And then he's like, uh, y'all told me to stand up for myself. He's like, I'll fight y'all. And they're like, we tell you to stand up for yourself, but not against us, bro. And uh, that so, wasn't in the movie. Also, apparently, here it is. Apparently, this is the answer. He, uh, Albus, Percival, Wolf, Frick, Brian, Dumbledore. Man, he has a name like me. Belong to Gryffindor House. It's mentioned in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm like, what? what? They, he, yeah, he, here's the. They even give you the line. Here, I'll, I'll let you read it after we're done with this. Okay. We'll probably be done here pretty soon. But yeah, it's, he's Gryffindor. Interesting. What the? That's like a no duh, right? Uh, I, I was guessing. I was guessing. That's why he, he clapped a little bit. Uh, but yeah. That's why at the end of the book, of book one, he's giving the point like nothing. Well, they earned it. They fucking saved everything. For the greatest chess game ever played. This Hogwarts has ever seen. And I, and I expect their, uh, Hermione to be more, like... Because in the book, they said she turned out red and she covered her face and shit. But in the movie, she was just like, yeah, I'm a bad bitch. They could have made her more nerdy, yeah. They could A little bit more, right? Like, like she does come off as a know-it-all in the books. I mean, in the books and the movies. Yeah, it, it, they, they allow you to expand more on their... Just the books are always going to be better. But, uh, like, Last King... Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. On, uh, Last Kingdom, which I don't know if people... We can talk about that another time. Yeah, this is Harry Potter, folks. This is Harry Potter. And that's then we're gonna end it here since you still need to finish up. That was, yeah. that was a thirty seven minute episode. Damn. So so we'll uh Yeah, shout we'll, out to you if you listen to this and like Harry Potter, because yeah. uh that means you're uh, definitely a friend of ours. Hopefully this will be they might be our biggest odd pot because I know wouldn't it be Harry amazing Potter, if like all of a sudden like, yeah, yeah, if you're like bro it has a hundred views, holy shit. But we'll be back. When I read more. Yeah, we're Hell gonna do yeah. part two to this for sure and watch more movies. Hey, yeah. Peace, right. love, and happiness. Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah.